What's good, GKC Army? Chapter 5, Season 2 is here. Let's discuss the meta. I know you're all interested. Thank you to GT Star for being a positive member of the JKC community, and make sure you like the video if you enjoyed today's content. For the algorithm, let's go. This season is certainly interesting, but what guns should you be picking up, and what guns are actually strong? There is one new shotgun this season, and that is the Gatekeeper shotgun. Now, this shotgun, from what I can see, does not really fit into the meta at all. This is kind of a shotgun that is in the middle of the auto and the hammer pump shotgun. The hammer pump is for the people that want to get edits, the people who want to hit hard shots, specifically going for one pumps. The people who pick up the auto shotgun are going for the inbox bang 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 dead. This new shotgun however, the gatekeeper shotgun, is more in the middle and therefore it does not fit in the meta at all and I'd recommend using it as a substitute hammer shotgun. If you can't find a hammer shotgun off spawn, then pick up the gatekeeper shotgun, but if not, then it's probably not worth using, especially not the lower rarities. They only have three bullets in them. The purple and legendary are far more likely to have the mod that allows you to have five bullets. If we're looking at the auto and the hammer though, the auto is definitely still on top. It hasn't been nerfed at all, the guns haven't been changed coming into the new season, so the auto is still incredibly overpowered, therefore carry the auto. I know it's not as fun, but it's going to get you the most kills. The Harbinger SMG is a new SMG that I clearly cannot pronounce the name of. Let me know if I said it right. Anyway, this SMG is very similar to the SMG they took out to replace it with, but it is very marginally better. This does make it slightly more in touch with what the Burst SMG is currently putting out damage wise, but still not really anywhere near. The Burst SMG is still the SMG on top this season and is the SMG you should be using. Pretty short section if you ask me. What about the snipers? Yes, they kept snipers in. I'm as disappointed as you guys. I dislike the snipers, I find them unskillful and easy to hit shots with. And they can literally take away someone's whole game in one single second. But the snipers are in and zero changes has been made. Although they might have to compete for your loadout this season. Because there are a lot more other things that could take up the slots. The assault rifles are certainly interesting. And the Nemesis AR has stayed in the game. But now we have a Warforged assault rifle. And a Huntress DMR. I don't know what to tell you about this one. If you want to carry an AR then you should probably either carry the Nemesis at the lower rarities and carry the Warforged Assault Rifle at the higher rarities. It's not the best gun and the ARs are particularly weak this season which is why I'd suggest carrying the SMG instead. Don't even bother with the DMR. If you need Storm Surge then it might be a perfectly good weapon but in ranked and stuff, don't bother. Stupid weapons. The Mythics this season and the Medallions are pretty impressive. So in the Underworld, we have Hades, which gives you the Siphon Medallion, which basically means if you kill someone, you're going to get 50 HP. I would love Siphon to come back to the game, but this is probably the next best thing, and that is a super strong medallion. Grim Gate Medallion is Dash, and allows you to use the Dash power wherever you are in the map, however many times. Again, a very strong mobility item, and in comp, it's going to be crazy for the team or player that has it, because they're going to be able to move around end games a lot faster in this meta. In Brawler's Battleground, we have the Damage Medallion, and this is from the God of War. The damage buffs are not wonderful, they aren't the craziest thing I've ever seen, but it's better than nothing. And finally, we have the Zeus Medallion, which is speed. It allows you to move faster. It's not too complicated. The ones on the bottom of the map are a lot less strong than the ones on the top of the map. The top map medallions are absolutely crazy. So it might be worth putting more of your focus into those medallions. The two mythics we have this season not dropped by any boss, but instead found in different chests. Specifically found in the new POIs is the mythic thunderbolt of Zeus and the epic wings of Icarus. From these chests, you have a 54% chance of spawning the wings and a 45% chance of spawning the Thunderbolt of Zeus. The Zeus Mythic is very overpowered if someone's sitting in a box and I recommend using it in that scenario only. You have three chances to use it each game and you rip off three lightning bolts every time. You can't stop the animation which you pressed it, so don't press it unless you're absolutely sure no one else can see you. I'm not too happy about the Mythic Zeus item because if you're boxed up, there's really nothing you can do apart from just take a bloom battle with the lightning bolts and hope they miss. The Epic Wings of Akaras are pretty balanced in my opinion. 
I'm sure in a lot of scenarios they'd be very useful. You can boost with them, you can roll with them, you can even do like this move that allows you to and hit the ground really hard. It does 60 damage which isn't too strong and it does go through builds. Might be worth reserving a spot in your loadout for this because if you keep low to the ground it is very unlikely that you're going to be shot out of the air or insta killed. It is not really easy to snipe if you're moving around a lot just make sure you're rolling and boosting and rolling a lot just to keep away from the snipers these are the items that i said would be kind of com competitors for the sniper for that fourth loadout spot there are of course some other items such as shield breakers are still in the game but all of these items are pretty useless and i wouldn't put too much weight on them you didn't carry them last season so why would you carry them this season that's the general consensus of the audience anyway. That is my depiction of the meta this season, and I'd appreciate it if you liked the video for the algorithm and watch the video on screen right now. Trust me, this one is a banger. You can't miss this one. It will tell you who's gonna place an FNCS this season controller-wise because it's the current best controller players in the world. I'll see you there, folks, in a bit. Get ready for some amazing content this season.